Lo, es lo único que tienes que ir. Hola, señor, ¿cómo estás? Hola, señora, ¿cómo estás? What? Good afternoon, good day everybody. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day. Obviously, I'm here in my apartment in front of my sneaker wall. And as you guys can see, it's been so unorganized since I moved here. Finally, starting to organize it. All you see, these two rows right here are all my Jordan 1s. But you see, to start the vlog out, we got four empty slots right here. Which brings me to the first part of today's episode. We are going to do something that we have never been... This has never been done before, period. Well, before we get into our activity, I need to show you guys an unboxing. Because this, what we're about to do... It wouldn't be possible without the unboxing. So quickly, we are going to go to the unboxing. Hit the intro. What's in the box? As you can see, I just received four Nike Air Jordan boxes. In this box contains four Air Jordan 1 sneakers. The name of this collection is called the best hand in the game. Representing Michael Jordan being the best of all time. Oh, first is my favorite and the one that I'm most excited about. Oh God, I love that Air Jordan smell. Nothing beats that first whiff of air. No pun intended. We got the red and black colorway. Now the reason why I really like these is because like when have we gotten like a yellow and black Jordan one? Like this is fire. Now the one remaining, the reason why I don't really like it is because it reminds me of a fragment. Having the fragment already, it's just kind of for me unnecessary to own both of these shoes. Jordan Brand, you did a great job with this pack. It would have been sick if you did like an orange colorway. That would have been pretty dope. My favorites, these two. Now back to you, Kais. Oh, this is a sick ass picture right here. Yeah, Chris woke up really tried to cop the blue ones. I would sell it to him or give it to him, but unfortunately I paid way more than market price. Like I paid over $400 for these and now they only go for like two something. So, you know, I gotta get my money back. So, which brings me to my next point. I'm only keeping two of these, but in order to this, like my favorite are these two right here. But I wanted to have some fun with it. So I was like, you know what, Chris, you got any ping pong balls? He said, yeah, for some reason he has just a brand new pair of ping pong, ping pong balls at his house. And he brought them over and I was like, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the first ever sneaker pong game. As you guys can see, we have our table right here. It's not actual official length, but we're gonna make it work. We've got all four sneakers and inside of each sneaker, come in here, come in here, reel it in. We've got a cup with water. This is a game that was made for beer pong, but I don't drink beer and this is a PG channel technically. So we are using water. We got the cups in the sneakers and I'm gonna shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm gonna do as many shots as possible, but I need to make two of them. So the first two I make are the sneakers that I'm keeping. So if it goes into a sneaker that I don't want, that means I gotta sell it. So I'm gonna sell two and keep and keep. So I'm gonna sell two and I'm gonna keep two, but it all depends on if I can make the ball into the right sneaker. So ladies and gentlemen, the first edition of Sneaker Pong. I've seen people play, so I know like techniques and whatnot. I'm going for yellow and, and green, yellow and green. Stop, you're first lying. First shot. No, stop. First shot. No, no, no. Show no. that, show no that. Way. First you're shot, lying. I swear to God. We're you're keeping lying. yellow, we're no keeping yellow. Way. Oh my God, first shot. That boy just got the stroke. Three point champion, former three point champion. All right, so now I need to make the green. Okay. Green. Ah, that almost went in blue, bro. That was scary, because I don't want the blue, I don't want the red. Damn it. Let's go! Green pair, let's get it. How you? I didn't even, you see that? It yeah. didn't even take me more than 10 tries. I know. It didn't take me more than 10 tries. Let's just say, I'm keeping the green, I'm keeping the yellow, and we are gonna go sell these today. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the first edition of Sneaker Pong. And I'm thinking for the next edition, maybe I should go verse somebody and we should both put stuff on the line. So, if you guys wanna see that, comment down below who you guys want me to verse. And now, it's only right that we go hit up some stores because we do have a special guest in America today. Keyword, in America, not just in California. So we're gonna head to Melrose, of course, and, and Fairfax, because I need to go to Supreme. And that's where we are gonna go. So, let's get out of here.
right, so we are on Melrose right now, and uh, we have a special guest in the building. The top geezer in the building. We're walking around Melrose, giving Ari the hype beast tour of LA. UK's biggest hype beast out in LA. UK's biggest hype beast has come to take over LA. This is yeah. my territory, but no, it's been I'm, gonna let you, I'm, I'm gonna let you visit. He brought the London weather I with really him, did. but it's okay though, because then I could I have an excuse to wear this jacket. I'm and out we, here in shorts in the rain. And we already, right? Sample Yeezys and whatnot. Take, uh, out here dressed like he's about to be at the beach when it's really gloomy <laughs> as hell. But yeah, man, we're just gonna go to all the stores. You guys know the drill. Round two, Cool Kicks, Mag Park, hey all guys, the good we stuff. we out here on Melrose. Is that your Blake Linder impersonation? <laughs> but um, if you guys didn't know, I did not go to SneakerCon Cleveland, which was the first SneakerCon that I missed in almost three years. Uh, Ari went. How was it? It was cool, right? I mean, it's I. It's because you went there. Fine. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! I had to take care of some stuff, but to everybody in Cleveland, I'll make sure I'm coming next year. So if I missed you this time, next year we're coming, and Warriors gonna win the championship again this year. Sorry guys, but yeah. Anyway, let's go to some stores and see what we're gonna pick up. What are you getting, fam? Fam, I'm getting this because when we go to Japan for sneaker con, game over. Just say. Damn, saying. look at that. He's plotting his IG post months in advance. That's all. <laughs> That's how you know the IG game is lit. Oh, these right here, bro. These are fire. If you're from Toronto, this is like a must sneaker. The Mar de Rosen Kobe Pro Tros. This is a size eight. If this was my size, I definitely would have got this. Like this is absolutely fire and if you guys watched the last video i uploaded i told you guys i'm going to mexico i'm trying to figure out like what type of pictures i want to take out there you got to teach me some more spanish for when i go to mexico fam what vendes aguas aguas agua water yes and then no 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 puerco no puerco no perco no pork no, no puerco no, no puerco. oh no puerco no, no pork puerco. okay yeah eh, pollo, pork. Pollo, pollo 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 loco no soda no soda no oh yeah soda no soda come on we gotta drink soda fam my spanish is getting better though guys i'll be ready for mexico this weekend stay tuned I don't know how I do it. All right, guys, we're back at the crib right now, and everybody's going home. We had a lit day. LA's biggest hype beast tour guide came through. We'll see them later this week, and I'll see you guys in a second because I'm gonna show you guys something I just bought right now. So um, it's lit. Make sure you're ready. Oh, they're not ready. Here we go. As you guys can see, we got this off white. Sneaker. We went to Maxfield, which is a boutique here in LA, and they had these, and I just really, really like the colorway. I've been wanting a pair of off-white sneakers, not like the Nike collaboration, but just the regular off-white sneakers, and this one really caught my eye. So apparently, even though it is high, it's still considered a low top because the shoe technically cuts off right there. Off-white, defining the gray area between black and white as the color. That's what off-white represents. The leather's really nice. Pricing on these was about $600, so it is that high-end price point. Tongue just feel super super squishy i like that they're dope man i like them they're very very dope very wearable i think this is going to be a dope like dope shoe not for the summertime but like for the right fit you know what i'm saying do you guys think that off-white is going to fall off within the next year or do you think that it's going to continue because i honestly think that like off oh by the way Warriors are playing right now. That's why I'm wearing my jersey. So, yeah. I feel like with Virgil going over to LV, he's still obviously going to be running off white and doing all of that. But I feel like his main focus will be LV just because LV is like way, way bigger. You know what I'm saying? The scale, the, my camera's literally about to fall right now. That might be his main thing. And off white is just like his brand on the side. I don't think that's going to have anything to do with whether or not it's still hyped or not. The hype factor it just depends on if people really like off-white after this year because there's so many new brands there's so many trends that happen you know what i'm saying is off-white gonna be a well-established brand like supreme where it's popular for years and years and and decades to come like i don't know what do you guys think let me know as we watch the game open my laptop we are currently at 996,591 subscribers. Less than 4,000 away from me giving away 10 pairs of brand new Yeezys. Now I only have three in my hand right now because these are the only three dead stock that I have. But when we reach 1 million subscribers, I'm giving away 10 pairs of Yeezys. If you guys didn't hear me say that, the 50 billion other vlogs that I mentioned it. Yesterday we got like 456 new subscribers. So shout out to every single one of you guys. You know, I'm still blessed that new people are finding this channel and subscribe. I just feel like me personally, 
it, as far as my content goes, a lot of people, you know, it's hard to grow in certain communities. I feel like I've reached the peak of like this sneaker streetwear world. That's why I've kind of been testing out other things because I want to see how people react to that kind of stuff. It's like, it's like tapping into other communities. But I always want to stay true to what I love and what I do. And that's why I don't like to kind of like go with trends that aren't stuff that I enjoy. Like you see me doing Fortnite videos and that's something that you normally wouldn't see but it's something that I like really enjoy doing because I play with my little cousins and I play with my friends and like I want to share it with you guys because it's like it's it's fun so as much as people think that I do certain things just to get views and likes and stuff like that it's really more organic for me anyway guys we're really close to a million I know we're gonna hit it soon at the end of the day numbers are numbers as long as one person is being entertained by my vlogs I appreciate you and I'm very very grateful finally one last note your boy finally started organizing his sneak wait i think i told you guys that in the beginning of the vlog okay now i'm just saying random stuff okay that's it guys i'm gonna end the vlog right here remember guys we upload a new video every other day so make sure you guys subscribe i'll see you guys in two days dream crew family i love you i appreciate you keep dreaming keep living your dream keep doing your thing keep grinding warriors get the dub and now we out of here